Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and I am delighted that the setup has now seemed to work and the sound is better. Um, and even the look of the thing is a bit better. So improvement thanks to the new stack. Thank you for bearing with me over some fraught days. Um, now, a couple of weeks ago, I had never heard of the constructor Gemma Oane, who I think wrote to us with their first, certainly their first self-recommendation. And almost immediately, we've had a recommendation from somebody completely unconnected with that setter for us to have a look at another puzzle that they've come up with, which has got a king's move restriction in it. So that's something for me to forget later in the solve. Um, and I'm interested to give it a try. Do check it out. Have a go at the puzzle if you want. Um, I am going to go through the rules in a moment. Once I've mentioned that, we are a little way into September and we have got our new Lines and Shapes monthly challenge running in Patreon. Do join us on Patreon. Check out the challenge. Uh, seven puzzles themed on lines and shapes like hexagons and octagons. Um, celebrating, to some extent, our expected release of a Line Sudoku app soon and our current availability of of a cap with our CTC logo on it. It actually says Cracking the Cryptic across the back as well, in case you didn't know. Um, so you don't have to explain the logo to everyone you meet, because of course they'll know anyway, because they all follow the channel like you. No, I don't know. Anyway, that's all available. Check out the links under the video for Patreon, our apps, the Discord server, Sven's Sudoku pad, the merchandise, etc. But the first link will be to this puzzle. Um, by Gemma Oane. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Maybe not. That's what I'm going with. Normal Sudoku rules apply in this puzzle. So we're putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits along an arrow sum to the digit in that arrow's circle. So those three will add up to that one. Digits can't repeat in a gray region. So we have these two gray regions, one looking like an N and one looking like a U. Um, oops, there we go. Uh, cells a king's move apart in chess may not contain the same digit. So that's just a means of saying that you can't have diagonally touching identical digits. I mean, some of the king's moves are already ruled out by Sudoku. Um, so those, those are the rules. The reason there are a couple of red arrows is just to make sure that the distinction between arrows is clear. They don't mean anything different from blue arrows. Clearly, we have a blue arrow running into a circle here and a red one running into a circle there. That's fine. I think we can understand what's going on with those in theory. Do give it a try on the link under the video. You may be able to judge from the video length how hard it is. I have no idea, but I am going to start now. Let's get cracking. So what we have got in this puzzle is quite a few three cell arrows where the digits on the arrow can't be the same as each other. So in all of these circles, yeah, all of these, we've got at least one, two, and three on the arrow because they have to be different from each other. So the circles must contain six, seven, eight, or nine. Oh, and this, right, this one can't be a nine because it's then on it on an arrow in turn. So that's six, seven, or eight. This has to be bigger, seven, eight, or nine. The difference between them is at a maximum three, I would say. Confident about my maths there. What's going on with this one? Right, this can't be a nine either. That is on the tip of an arrow. So again, one, two, three, there. Oops, not there. Wow, my keyboard. I must have got a uh, discarded keyboard from one of my kids where the arrow keys only, well, they fail sporadically. Let's put it that way. Anyway, oh, phone pinging away like mad. Right, I'm going to ignore that. Now, we've got, what has that taught us? Not a lot. But I think this confluence of arrows here must mean something. Um, no, I'm going to start with these arrows in row four. Because those cells add up to at least 15. They might, they're five different digits. So one, two, three, four, five are the minimum. I know my triangular numbers. That must be at least 15. Plus one 
for the blue arrows gets us up to at least 16 between these two. OK, all that does actually is rule 6 out of this cell. Because if that was a 6, this would have to be a 10 or more. OK, let's try it with these two arrows then. I should maybe have done that first. The digits in these five cells, again, have to be at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, adding up to 15. But one of them is counted twice, and it's the one here. It's counted in both of those totals. So assuming it's a 1 at a minimum, then the total of these cells has to be at least 16. It's exactly the same, I suppose, as with those two. These two have to add up to at least 16. And again, that rules 6 out of this one. So that makes it a bit tighter on this arrow. I think we get 7 or 8 there, 1 or 2 here, 8 or 9 there. Now I'm not seeing much more. I mean, I suppose, OK, the 7 or 8 arrows, in fact, we have two circles that can't have a 9 in, which hasn't actually changed since the beginning, but they must have a 1 on their arrows. Now, annoyingly, that doesn't mean there isn't a 1 on this arrow. In fact, it might be quite the opposite. It might mean there has to be a 1 here. And we've got this king's move restriction, which I'm trying not to forget. I'm wondering what that's doing for us, if anything. It's almost, well, it's not stopping this being a one. Actually, that's quite an interesting point. Either this definitely goes 729, or that's a one, in which case that must be a one because there is a 1 on the red arrow and it couldn't touch this even diagonally. So what are those telling us? Either this is a 2 and that's a 7, then this would have to be 1, 2, 4 and the 2 would have to be there. So if this was a 2, there'd be a 2 here. And if this was a 1, there'd be a 1 here. These are the same digit. So I'm going to colour them the same colour. That's weird. I think that is right though. Yeah, if it's a 2, that must be a 7. Then there must be a 2 on the arrow, and that must go here. So this is a 1 or a 2. I mean, I think that was probably calculable before, but it's definite now by, by the virtue of King's Move Sudoku. Hmm, I don't know what to do next. Oh, the extra regions. Yeah, OK, this cell, <laughs> nestled in the, in the bowl of the U, where does that go in the grey U? Because it's a nine-cell grey U that every Sudoku digit appears in it, so this digit must appear in it somewhere. Well, by King's move, it can't be in any of those cells, and that cannot be a 7, 8, or a 9, um, because these would have to be at least 1 and 2 and then you'd be adding up to at least 10. We can't put a 10 in here. So now we know that that is the same as that. So we'll make them purple. Why not? Um, and this one can't be a 6 anymore. But uh, it's not very conclusive. I'm kind of eliminating one digit at a time from candidates, which isn't a very fast way to complete the puzzle. But it's not about being fast. It's about appreciating the intricacies and subtleties of the puzzle. That's what I like to think. Right. OK, these are both purple. Where's purple in box five? That's nice. I think we can place purple in box five. It can't be there by Sudoku. And it can't be on this arrow by arrow Sudoku. So it's in that cell. That is purple, seven, eight, or nine. Now this is not purple. So these two are different. This one is clearly green. Green is not a good idea because we've used yellow. Let's make it orange. And this is different as well. OK, I'm going to make that green because it's nowhere near the yellows. Purple, orange and green are three different flavours of big number. So where's the third purple in these columns? One of these cells, actually. Not a good question. Well, doesn't have a useful answer. 
Ah, where's purple up in box one? I don't think it can be in any of those cells allowing for king's move, regular Sudoku and arrow Sudoku. So purple has to be in one of those two. Oh, hang on. Purple can't be on those. So in column two, it's in one of these places. Sorry, in box seven, it's in one of these places in column two. Therefore, it's not there. Therefore, it is in the corner. Ooh, we're getting some traction on purple. Purple can't be here. So one of these two is purple. Purple and purple. That purple's on the in the grey region. So this must be purple. That's not purple. That is purple. Purple's already in the grey region, so that's purple. That's not. Are we going to finish purple? No, because we have to be very clear that this could be purple again. I think. That would require that to be the same as those two added together. Yeah, I don't see why not. OK, but we got somewhere with purple, but we don't know what purple is, annoyingly. I'll tell you what I do know. Oh, it's useless. I was about to work out that those two were different. I've done that already because it has to not touch there. These are different, though. Now, they can't be seven and eight because these cells add up to at least 16, given that the central one counts twice. So therefore, one of these has to be a nine, and we know it's not there. Purple is a nine. Sorry, this has probably been clear to some of you for a little while. Now, that still doesn't mean I can confirm nine is in this circle, because nine can go there. That's not breaking the king's move rule. Anyway, we've now got nine in some places, but not only... Oh, well, in two circles. Um, now, this is seven or eight. These add up to... 16 or 17, counting the central one twice. Well, this is 7 or 8. Now, if this is 8, if this is 8, the yellow cell is a 1 on this arrow. It has to be. So you've got a 1 there if that's 8. And then here, these two add up to seven. Two ways of doing that. These two would add up to eight. At least two ways of doing that. I just thought I th thought I thought I glimpsed a similarity between the cases of seven and eight here. Oh, I'll tell you what. Where does this go in this grey area? Ah, I don't know. That is still a grey area because it goes in one of those two. I thought I was going to be able to place it like I don't have that arrow, do I, going through here. Oh, bother. Oh, look, these can't be nines. <laughs> OK, so they've got ones on their arrows. Now, that might be interesting. There's a one on that arrow, so that's not a one. In fact, by King's move, that's not a one. Um... Do I know any more about these? Not yet. Now, these blue arrows add up to 16 or 17. Which is very nearly the minimum. Again, that would, almost, that would force this to be one or two. Uh, OK. And no. Now, I was going to say there must be a two on this arrow. That's not necessarily true. Oh, bother. Right, I need to think of something else. OK, come on, let's, let's get a bit of clarity. Right, yellow is already on this grey area, so it can't go there. That yellow means it can't go in any of those cells as well. Oh, one of these two is yellow. Right, what happens if we put yellow here on the grey area? tell you what that's quite interesting whatever is in this cell can't be on this arrow at all 
because it sees those two in the same row and that in the grey area. Hmm, doesn't really do anything. Not yet, anyway. I don't know, that's interesting, but it's not conclusive at all. Okay, what about, I don't know, do I know whether, is that orange? Okay, let's think about the totaling along here and here and here, because it's time to do it. If this is a seven, this is a one, two, four triple. Ah, then these have to be 3, 5 at a minimum, and that's also their maximum. So that's always a 1. Ah, that's interesting. Right, if that's a 7, this is 1, 2, 4, that's 3, 5, that makes this 1. But if this is an 8, that's a 1, and it's the same. So yellow is a 1. Okay, good. They are not 1s. These two are either... 2, 4, a 2, 5, or a 3, 4. Because I still don't know what these identities are. Right, let's think about if, if these are a 2, 4, because that was a 7. That's when we worked out that's a 3, 5. Right, this has to be 1, 2, 4. You can't get higher because we're not allowed to go up to 9 as a total. Oh, that's interesting. So if this is a 7, putting 2, 4 here, 3, 5 here, 1, 2, 4, then that is a 7. Now, I have a feeling if that's an 8, maybe that's going to make this an 8 and we can colour them the same. If that's an 8, this could be 2, 5. That would have... Well, this would have to be 2, 6, or 3, 5. It couldn't be 2, 5. Right. This is either 2, 4, or 3, 4 here. And if this is an 8, this must be 3, 4. This would be 2, 6, to avoid using a 3 or a 4. And this would be 1, 3, 4 at a minimum, and that is the same colour as that. OK. So this is either 1... Th so there's definitely a 4 on this as well. This is either 1, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 4. This pair, though, is either 2, 6, or 3, 5, which was obvious since I got that to be a 1. Oh, this can't be a 1. That can't be an 8. Sorry, this can't be a 1. This can't be an 8. Now there's got to be a 2 on this arrow, because it's either 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 4. Does that do anything? It makes this one at least a 3. Oh, this digit... Yeah, this digit has to repeat on this arrow, because if it's a 3, that's a 6. And there must be a 3 on the arrow. That's a bit weird. So it mu that digit must be in those cells somewhere. I, I still don't think that's forced anything about this arrow. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer, but I haven't forced anything. Two and three, one of them gets used there, one of them gets used there. This is from one, two, three, four. I tell you what, this did, I suppose it could be a five. That's annoying. Um, four is definitely used here and definitely used here. So four has to go in one of those cells. That's unlikely to be helpful. This one was a surprise. Where did that come from? So one is definitely in one of these three in box nine. And one of those two in box six. And one of those two in box three. What use is that to me? Not enough. Um, okay. This is two or three. OK, if this was a 7, that's going to force the hand here a bit. So if this was a 7, that would be a 2. But also you'd have an 8 here, so you'd have a 3, 4. Ah, um, yeah, and this being an 8 makes that an 8. OK, this is interesting. This is interesting. 7 here makes that a 2. But this has become 1, 3, 4 because of the 8-ness of orange. And therefore, the 2 in this box is going to have to go here. Ah! That doesn't work. That's gorgeous! 
That is gorgeous. Okay, it's complicated to see this, but if this is a seven, orange is an eight in both of those positions, this becomes one, three, four. Now, that is a two, and two in this box ends up here. Now that's gonna force this arrow to be one, three, four at a minimum, which is also its maximum because its circle can't be more than eight. And if this is one, three, four with two there, this cell is broken, gorgeous. I mean, unbelievably clever if that's actually on the solution path. There may be something neater here and do, do feel free to post about what it is. But actually, I think that's incredibly neat. It just requires a tiny bit of looking ahead. And that is amazing, but it proves that this is not a seven. That's, what I was, that's where I was coming from. This green is a six, which actually clears the way for orange to be either of the digits, which is a little annoying. I wanted to restrict it. But interestingly, that's now one, two, or three. Right, this digit is at least four. Now, one thing I know about nine in three cells is two of them have to be little digits, one, two, or three. And one of them can be a middly digit, four, five, or six. One of them has to be a middly digit. And that one is here. It can't be six, by the way, because of that. So these two are low digits. They're either a one, three pair or a two, three pair, given that. So there's a three on them. Interesting. This has become a three. So we know where the three is straightforward when you see it, not when you don't. These two add up to six. Okay, that's fine. Now, has this taught me anything about the resolution of these? It hasn't, because I don't know whether this is seven or eight yet. That's quite frustrating. Maybe I learned something generic here. Or maybe I didn't. Yeah, I mean, if, if this is a six, this is one, two, three. Oh, it nearly doesn't work. This would have to be a four, but also you'd have a one, three, well, no, a one, three or a one, two pair here. Actually, I'd no. Okay, okay, I've reached a conclusion and it's, it's quite complicated again, but I'm still gonna, still gonna take you through it because I think it's quite fun. Actually, Firstly, where does orange go in column eight? Remember the king's move, it's got to be there. I don't think I can use that for anything, so I'm going back to this thing. Now, I'm determining <clears throat> that this corner cell can't be a six. And the reason is slightly complicated and involves this three, <laughs> which is amazing. Um, if this was a, no, I'm not determining that this is a six. I'm determining that one of these is an eight. That's what I'm coming up with. That's a slightly different conclusion. If this was a six, this would be one, two, three. Now, that makes this a four, which makes this an eight. But also, it makes this a one, three pair. So that would have to be, oh, well, I mean, okay, it's simpler than I was thinking. If that's a six, that's a one, two, three, triple. This must be a four, this must be an eight. So if that's a six, this is an eight. If that's not a six, this is a seven, eight pair. So there's definitely an eight here. Orange is in one of those, no, I, orange is seven or eight. I don't know what orange is, but one of those is an eight. And that's probably not, not hugely helpful. These all have to be different cells because they all see each other. Oh, come on, I haven't done anything useful here for a bit. This orange goes either there. Oh, I haven't looked at these foolish um, gray cells for some time. I need to think about those. Now, what prevents that being five, six, seven, eight? Only the possibility of five getting onto this arrow. doesn't seem impossible to me. Um, three, nine, we've got a nine in one of those. Six, is six interesting? No. How about this row? We've got to place a seven and eight in it somewhere. Don't know, one. 
can't be in that cell. That's just Sudoku. One is here and in one of those. So one is in one of these two, um, which is not very interesting, except that in the gray area, one is now not in any of those cells. So there must be a one in one of these three. Oh, in fact, yellow is a one. So one of those is a one. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. This can't be a one because that couldn't be a one then. So now yellow one would be there and now you couldn't put the one on this arrow. That's lovely. That'll do. So this is not a one. This is a three, two, four arrow. I'm not going to say I suspected that because I don't think I did necessarily had. I mean, I wondered about it at one point. That's really not the same. Um, but we've got the three, two, four arrow. Right. These are from five, seven and eight. It feels like a bit of a breakthrough. We've got a two. I suspect the digits I'm getting are not breakthrough style digits. Hang on. Two. Yes. Two goes here. That place is one. That means, yes, this is a breakthrough. We've got three and four there. This is a seven. That's the sort of information we wanted. That's helpful. That's surprising, actually. But uh, no, it's not a seven because I've done my maths wrong. <laughs> so I'm right to be surprised. It's now one, three and four. It's an eight. There we go. That's better. OK, that is a one, three, four um, arrow now. This doesn't have a three on it, so it's a two, six pair. This is all working. OK, I'm feeling good about this now. Five, seven and eight are the remaining digits in several cells in the middle section. This is five or seven. Going to look again at the grey areas in a moment. If you want to get ahead of me, you study them. Um, now, that was interesting. 8, 1. This is 9. That's sorted out this X-wing on 9s. And let's colour those and turn their colour off. And um, now, what have we got going on? That's not an 8 in the corner. Very good. That is 6 or 7. Now we've got a 2 on this arrow and either 3 or 4. So we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple. That's not a two. We have got a five, six, seven triple here now. Um, that's on the gray area. So that becomes a two. Yes. Five, six, seven, two. And that is the other one of three or four, which is the same as that digit. I'm going to give them a color because that's quite interesting here. Look, they can't go here. Red can't go here because it sees three and four. So that is the one. Um, and this is the three or four. Trying to get my pencil marking right. OK, that was worth colouring. And I don't know what red is, but I know it's up there. Let's get rid of the corner mark there and the nines out of those places. OK, cool. Um, red is in one of those three cells. And I'm tempted to expect it to be. Oh, no, look at this. This sees one, three and four now. That's a two. Now, there is a one here. Right, red is in one of these three. Might not be here. That two has freed up this one, three, four to behave as it wants. This is not a two. This is the same as this one in two different five, six, seven triples. I'm surprised eight hasn't propagated itself around a bit more. Got five, six, seven left to place in row three. One, two, three, nine. One of these is a four. I've marked that already. Oh, we need a one in column three, and it's got to be there, remembering the king's move. So that fixes the one in this on this arrow. Try and get my pronouns right. Um, that's not a one. Oh, still the one possibilities here haven't been resolved at all. That one can at least go yellow. And one of those is the one. <sighs> uh, right. Five, six, seven and eight still to place in all sorts of parts of this puzzle. This is the, really the only arrow we have left to consider. OK, let's consider it. 
Um, now, okay, I was first of all going to say this could be, well, it can't be a three because you can't put a two on the arrow. It can't be a four for a nice reason that this would be one, three, four, and this cell is impossible considering the king's move. So this is five, six, or seven, which makes it a triple with those. It makes it the same as that. Okay, they need a color. Their color is green, because six no longer has to be green. Um, and that digit is going up here somewhere. This digit was the same as this one. They are clearly blue. And that digit is going up here somewhere. And there's not much point coloring this other one, is there? Okay, is there some sort of king's move thing? Yeah, well, two six are a pair there. That can't be a six. Five, seven, eight, they're another triple. This is a totally different triple where that has to be the same as that. And that has to be the same as that. Ah, I don't know. Interesting. Um, again, these are all from five, six, seven, eight, as is this, as is this. Might as well do some pencil marking. Nearly got a triple going on in this row. Now, let's think about these three, four pairs. So, or maybe two. Do I need to think about two? I'm not sure. I got a bit stuck again now. Um, blue is in one of those cells. Yeah, maybe I need to come up with something like that because that keeps blue out of those two. But I don't know. Getting, getting bogged down now. That's not an eight. Just noticed that. Um, Hmm. It's an interesting and intricate puzzle. Ah, oh, there's been some lovely steps in it, actually. Now, come on, the one, two, three there. I can't really do anything about that. The three, four pairs. Okay, it's worth coloring the three fours because that one's red. So this one is, gr I can't use gray. I don't have all my colors available. So maybe I just need to, um, do the switch of colors and choose a, a bright green. There we go. Okay, this one's bright green. That one is red. So, does that actually, doesn't really do anything else, does it? All that trouble. Well, red is, that is obviously red and bright green. So, one of these is bright green does sort of, yeah, there can't be any, th well, we've got three, four pair in the top row. One of those is red. I mean, that's clearly true too. These can't be red. So red is down here somewhere. So that's not red. This is red. That might help. You never know. We've got a three, four pair in the box now. So those come from five, six, and seven. Hmm. Oh, this, this, this grey area, of course. Thank you for shouting continually. That has made me spot that that's clearly a six. Um, and that's a two. And that's not a six now. Now we've got a five, seven, eight triple. One of those has to be an eight. That's not the way to look at it. I thought I was going to conclude that wasn't an eight, but I think that's dangerous. No, I don't know. One of those has to be an eight, and they both see that cell. That is not dangerous. It can't be an eight. That's lovely, actually. Now that's a five, seven pair in the box, and that's an eight. And it's clearly orange, therefore. That is not an eight. It's also, that's not an eight, because it's in the gray area, of course, again, the forgotten gray area. I thought I would forget the king's move. Instead, I forgot the extra regions. Let's just check this one. Now, I've done everything in that that I can use. Right, these are from four, six, eight. So five and seven are definitely in these cells. And that does mean that this can't be a five or a seven. So it's either a two 
or a bright green 3-4, which wasn't quite the conclusive um, facts I needed at this point. In fact, 2 is in one of those two cells, so it's in one of these two cells. If I knew that couldn't be 2. Oh, look, I've got a 5, 6, 7 triple here. And I've got blue. Now, I don't know enough about my 5s and 7s. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to have to start colouring them, aren't I? There's 5s and 7s popping up everywhere now. Right, I coloured this earlier. But I don't know which of... Do I know which of these is not a six? No, quite the opposite. One of those is a six. Oh, I'm confusing myself. Oh, I never really followed through on what can add up to five, six, or seven. We can't use a two. So if it's five, it's one and four in this order because one can't be there by the king's move. If it's six, it's one and five. If it's seven, it can't be two and five, and it can't be three and four, because that would break this cell. So it's one and six. So that can be four, five, or six, but this is always a one on this arrow. That is a brilliant arrow. Absolutely brilliant. That is stellar. That can't be a one, so one is here. That has probably finished off our yellow ones. There they go. That's not one down in the corner. It's two or three. What are the odds on it being a three in the corner, do you think? Don't know. Um, right, that can't be the bright green because I've finally noticed it in the middle box and put it there. That is the bright green three or four. And there's another one here. That was an intriguing arrow, really clever. Now, let's use it, let's use it, let's get home in this puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna uncolor these greens and blues because I don't think they're doing me any good. I want to do fives and sevens instead and see where they lead me because, ah, oh, look. Yeah, let's, let's just color these, green and blue. Ordinary green and blue, there we go. So that goes green, that goes blue. Hopefully you can distinguish my colours. I'm sorry if you can't, but I kind of need this. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to find. Blue and green, both seeing this cell, which is a six. Oh, much simpler to see that there's a five, seven bear looking at it. I didn't see it that way. Always trying to find the hard way to do things, as you know. Um, six, nine, three, four, one. There's a two up there somewhere. This is five, seven, or eight. Uh, two, I don't know. Right, now I was colouring fives and sevens. Where did we get to? There's a blue in one of those. Green, green, that's green. And those can't be green. So they must include blue and six which isn't getting a colour. Oh, they must include six. Yes, that's a five, six, seven triple. So six must be in one of those. It's not there. It's here. God, the king's move changes everything, doesn't it? It just messes with your head. Well, it messes with mine. Um, now, what can this be? This can't be one, two, six, or nine, and it sees both of three and four. So this is five, seven, or eight, and it's not blue. In fact, where is blue? Blue can't be in any of those cells. That's blue, and therefore not an 8. Right. Um, blue is in, what, is in that cell, in box 7. Everything else is seen in some way by blue. Well, those aren't seen, but they can't be 5 or 7. So blue is now there, 5 or 7, not an 8. It's in one of those two, and I don't know which one. And one of these two. That can't be red. Um, wow. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're hauling ourselves over the line slowly. That is five, seven, or eight. Now, I've, owned, I've looked at blue, and I've got this dark green thing going as well. Now, maybe I need to look up here. We've got the three, four. That can't be... 
why don't I th that is two in the top row and that's not this is five seven or eight one of my famous trip in fact that sees a five and seven pair that is my orange eight so that's eight in the top row and these can't be eight one of those is a six in the top row so that's not a six come on keep going one of these was a six so that's not a six in fact six is down here that's a four six pair that aren't resolved but six is not there this is now five or seven which it always was because I've colored it blue so I must have known somehow that was a five or a seven uh, one of these is dark green oh I tell you what's interesting about that yes the simple question the simple way to answer this is where is the dark green five or seven in this row well it's not in any of those cells is all I'm gonna say it's in one of those two oh, don't I know at the top no I don't think I do yes I do because that's the dark green five or seven yes this is good so that is the green five or seven and now it can't be here so that is the dark green five or seven and this gives us all the information we need because that is a five on the arrow so it gets six in the circle this one here is not a six that is the that is the blue five or seven which makes that the blue five or seven which makes that the blue five or seven and now we've got six in the corner that needs three on the arrow so the bright green is a three is that all I've got colored bright green it is let's get rid of that color because it's far too close to uh, my other green now red has become a four that can just go in um, somewhere yes green dark green became five down here blue became seven therefore because it's the other thing and now I think we're desperately close to finishing let's just get rid of the corner marking there oh I just claim to be desperately close to finishing and then I can't see at all how to finish the bottom right this is a two three four triple oh look six has been resolved here sorry six there four there that's not a four that is two or three we've got two three and four four is here let's just get rid of the colors uh, that is two or three we're gonna get a three in the corner but I don't know which corner yet I've also got a five eight pair that's five that's eight oh, sorry not that what was that for that's it. wow my arrow keys are really misbehaving that is what you get for getting an offshoot key a uh, sort of cast off keyboard now I've got two and three everywhere how the heck are these ever going to resolve Kings move two there yes lovely three two 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 three and we finish off with a three in the corner proving its position and that's the answer what a fabulous puzzle really clever much harder than I was expecting but energetic all the way through fabulous Sudoku thanks Gemawani and thank you for watching on the channel as always hope to see you again soon bye for now